All right. Recording. All right, guys. Kid that. All right, let's have a quick warm up. 20 jumping jacks. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. And five burpees up, down, push up. Go. One. Jumping. Two. Jump with the legs back. And three. And four. And five. And 15 jumping jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Run in place. Run in place. Use your hands and legs. And heels up. High knees. And both knees to your chest. High jump. Up. And keep your keep running. Keep running. Use your hands. And knees up. Up. All the way to your chest. Ready. Up. One more. Up. Good. Down. Ten push-ups. One. Two. Lower. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. On your back. Twenty setups. Each time you go up, double punch. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to miss one? Yes, in nineteen. No, no, Kadima, that's it. Very good. And up. Run in place, run in place, run in place. Run, 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 run. Use your hands. Take up your knees when you run. And feet together, jump front and back. Go. Side to side. Front and back. And front, back, side, side. Front, back, side, side. Go. Front, back, side, side. Front, back. Good. Front, back, side, side. Good. And run, 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 run in place. Run, run, run. Walk and breathe. Walk and breathe. Use your hands. Pick up your legs when you walk. Very good. That's the stretching. All right. And the hips. Turn your neck up and down, up and down. Now, side to side, side, side. circle, other way, shoulders back, forward, arms full circle, back, elbows in. Out, in, and together, stretch your side to side, and circle. Where's everybody else? Eric, uh, Catherine, Nadav, the old gun today. By the way, open toes in, stretch down left. On the side. Right up as far as you can. Other side. Good. Open. Leg straight, toes in, and reach back. Reach to your left leg with your right hand.
I'm saying. Now, good. Turn your foot to the side, your left foot, and bend your left knee. Turn your back foot, push forward. Good. Out of sight. Good, back foot. And back. Put your body weight on the left, push your left knee out, and bring your head down to the right. Out of sight. Head down to the left. Split. And reach forward. Slide. On the side. Again, forward. Bring your elbows down. Butterfly, hands together, and flap your wings. Use your knees up and down. Both legs in front. Reach. Don't bend your knees. Very good. Up on your feet. All right. Let's do first a little movement, okay? A little movement. Okay, we spoke about also last time, not last time, the one before that, about what happens when you need to turn to your right and turn to the left, which leg you move. Okay, so everybody, let's start with the left leg in front. Okay, fighting stance. And move forward. So we move forward, the lead leg goes first, and the back leg comes along, okay? Again, forward. Now, we move back, we move the back leg first, okay? Always the lead leg leads the way. So to the back, the back leg is, leads the way. To the left, let's say, my left leg is the way. To the right, my right leg is the way. To the front, my front leg is the way. So it doesn't matter which leg is you know, I have in the front, okay? So again, let's start with this. Left leg in front, again, front. Back. Back. Front. Now, right. With the right, we said we go first with the right. Left. Back. Back. Front. Front. Back. Back. Right. Left. Very good. Check it out. Okay. Simple. All right. Let's do the turns. Okay. Again, let's take it in front. Okay. Now. Left leg in the front, and I want to turn to the right. What am I doing? From here, all I need to do is just face the other side. Okay? From here, face and just adjust. I don't have to switch legs. Okay? I don't have to. I don't have to. From here, bring it here. Unless the situation demands that. Okay? If I need to close distance, I, I turn, I see the guy's a little further away, and I have the chance to move my left leg to be in the front. Plus, this way, I close more distance. Plus, I going back to my natural stance, you can do that. But right now, let's say right now, all you need to do is just turn and adjust your stances, okay? So again, I'm standing here, there is something going over here, I adjust, okay? I don't adjust like standing, like turning in place, okay? Like we both feet. I adjust by shifting a little bit forward. So from here, I look, I see I'm moving forward, okay? I wanna... I wanna I want to deter, deter, that's the word. I want to deter him. I want to like uh, show that I'm, I'm, I'm in it, okay? I'm not just from here, just somebody called me and I'm turning around to see what's going on. So again, from here, right, and move a little forward, okay? Now from here to the left, left, and adjust. So when I turn back to the left, again, I move towards the left also, not just turning in place. So again, to the right, and to the left 
Okay, so first I need to look. Okay, I need to see what's going on and slow distance moving forward. Have my right now in this case, my right leg is in the front to the left and adjust. Okay, very good. Now, what happens if I have my left leg in the front, but I need to turn to the left? Okay, I'm not stepping back to turn. Okay, even though it's the shortest way, but it's the risky way. Why? Because behind, I don't know what's going on. Maybe there is some kind of obstacle. Any object that will trip me and I, I twist my ankle, then I can fight, I can stand, I can do nothing. So from here, I can actually see what's going in the front. So my leg goes over here, going forward. So my back foot is moving here. So now I'm facing the left side on with my left leg in front. So again, from here, I'm here. Okay, again. So here, look and adjust. Again, you face forward, you do with the guy from here, and then you have to turn, you turn, and you adjust distance. Okay. Okay, again. From here, look and adjust. Very good. Now, how do we go back? Let's say I need to come back again over here. We said before, so all I need to do is right now adjust and turn to the right, have my right leg in the front. It doesn't matter. Again, I can I need to be able to fight with both sides in the front. Okay. So again. I have my left leg in the front. I need to turn to the right. Look and turn. Now I want to turn to the left. I look and I turn. I want to turn to my left again. So I look and I move my back leg forward and I maintain it as a back leg in this situation. Okay? Again, front from here. Okay? I move forward. Lead leg forward. Left leg and now I need to turn to the right. I look and I adjust. I need to turn to the left. I look and I adjust. Now I need to turn to the left. So we said our back leg is moving and I can see the front. Plus, because I was already here before, I know what's going on in front of me. I know there is no obstacle. Okay, this what allows me to move the foot over here and face the guy. Now, let's say I saw there's something over here. Okay, I saw there's something over here and I need to go there. What am I doing? How do I step? I know there is some kind of obstacle over here. I know. So from here, if the, if the situation allows me, I step just over than I am now. Right now, I'm going over just the obstacle, but I'm right now I'm facing there. I close more distance and I pick up my leg. That's one option. Okay. Another option, okay, from here, another option from here is if there is like a stone, like pebble or something, just say like we're doing shooting. We drag the foot. Okay. We drag. Okay. And in, in, when we do the shooting, the uh, shooting, we don't. If I need to turn, I don't pick up my foot and pull it because it might be small rocks or something and I twist my ankle. I need to drag, drag my foot. So this way, whatever I had on the floor that I was able to move, I move it away, like uh, sweep it with my foot. Okay, another option. Okay, every scenario is gonna be a little different each time. On that second, you have to use your judgment, common sense and apply the technique that's required for this situation. So again, finding sense, look to the left and adjust. Very good. Now, again, I want to turn to the right, I adjust, and I step forward. Very good. Now I want to turn back, okay? In this situation, I want to turn back. I'm not using my back because I don't see what's going behind me. This time, I move my lead leg. I look from the short distance, which is my left side, towards my back leg side, and I move my front leg. Now it becomes my back leg, okay? So again, I'm staying with the left leg in front, okay? So with the left leg in front. I was actually like this. I was never Let's go back. Right leg in the front. Okay. And I want to turn back. I look from the left side and my front leg is the one I move with. Okay. Now I face the other side. Again, let's say I have my right leg in the front. Something in behind me. I look first from the left. My hands stay up. I look and I adjust stances with my front leg. There you go. Now let's say I have my left leg in the front. And I need to turn back. Again, the shortest way to turn is from my back leg side, okay? It takes longer to turn from the front leg, okay? So turn back, look. And the front leg is the one I actually move to face the other side, okay? So again, from here, look back, adjust. Now, usually when something is behind you, you have less time to close distance. So in this situation, for example, if I'm standing like this from here, and when I turn, I see the thread is coming. So this way, it allows me to open more distance, to open the gap. I'm gonna do it this way so you can see, okay? From here, I see that something going on. I can open distance. 
I'm not staying there. I can open this thing. Again. Hi, Catherine. All right. From here again, try from behind me. My lead leg. Okay. That's the one I'm using to turn. Very good. Again, let's say left leg in front. I need to turn to the left. So my right leg moves forward. I need to turn to the left again. So again, from here to the left. Now I have the left leg in the front. So again, my right leg is going forward. I need to turn to the right. All I need to do is just adjust my stances. Okay, with a little this, uh, closing distance. Okay, I have a problem behind me. Now my left leg is in the back. So I look from behind and I adjust my stance with the lead leg. Okay, now my problem is on the left. I turn on the left. I move my back leg this way. I always see what's going around. All right, very quick, just for the stances. All right, Tanyakum. Last time we did, if I'm not thinking, we did straight stab with a knife. We're gonna cover a little bit again. Stab, Andrew. Manish, right. how are you? Very good, very good. All right, what happened? Shoulder is bad? It's okay, we'll change it. Okay, straight stab, straight stab. We said this is very dangerous motion. Why? Because this can go and come back again and again and again. Okay? Unlike this. This comes from here, maybe gonna change and do something else and come with a different angle. But when it's a straight step, the movement is, is like a masoha, like a chainsaw. Go far and back, front and back, front and back. Okay? So move back a little bit. Now, we said first, because the knife is over here and I don't know how it's gonna attack me. The first thing we do is deflection. So when you step over, I deflect. Okay, I deflect. Which hand am I deflecting with? With the parallel hand. So if the knife is on his right hand, which is parallel to my left, I deflect with my left. And when I deflect, I always open distance, always disengage because I don't know what's doing, what he's doing, and that's gonna be my first indication of what's gonna be the next attack. So again, he attacks me first time, I deflect. It comes again, this time I move out to the side. Okay, I move out to the side, let me come. Okay, if I deflect, now I move to the side, okay. This hand goes up, okay. This hand goes up, elbow goes up. This hand pushes. So when I push, I'm not just pushing with my body, attack, with my body moving forward because I'm gonna get stabbed, okay, in the knife. I push and I move my body, I move my, myself to the side, okay? So I'm moving not 45 degree angle, but something closer to him, okay? So I can actually reach, because if I move too far, attack, if too far, it's very difficult to reach, okay? And by the time I try to hook my arm around, he's gonna be able to pull and stab me again and again. So again, okay? One, it comes again, I move to the side, closer, okay? So then, to the side. From here, we say I can even grab my shirt, Okay, automatically without waiting, this hand goes to the face, palm strike anywhere in the ear and the face. Okay, turn back from here. After I do that, from here, I grab his face. Okay, and closer, I grab his face, eyes, nose, something I grab. And with the back leg, which is the left, and this because I grab with the left, I use my left leg to take him down to the ground. Make sure I go with him. I put my knee on his neck, move out, take it out, stop, finish, and goodbye. It was nice meeting you. Cool. Shoulder. Why is your shoulder? I landed on it now. Before you said you were around. Before, yeah. Oh. I landed on the other side. And then There's a sign here. Pain doesn't hurt. There's a big sign over there. Pain doesn't hurt. Pick one. Yeah. That's a sticker. Coach Let's go. Stab. Deflection. One. Hook. Turn the whole body. Grab. Take it down. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Take it out and I do it without him because he's already in pain. Okay. Deal with the American kids. Unbelievable. All right. Finding stance. First one, deflection. One. Second one, step out and deflect to the side. Hook the arm. Turn your whole body, palm strike. Grab the face. Fingers, hook. Knee, go down with him. Put your left knee on his neck. Grab. The arm, take your hand away, and as you do that, you take the knife out by bending the wrist and turning it. You bend the wrist and turn it, the knife, the hand open. Take it from here, 
and you can either finish him with a knife or just hit him and then or just control him or restrain him, do whatever you need to do. Okay, by the way, you saw there was a video of the cop that uh, put his knee on the guy's neck and in the end the guy died. But this is the right way to prevent somebody from getting up. A lot of American cops, they put their knees and they sit back. He was actually with his knee on the guy and it had all his body weight, okay? So he was a good teacher, but not so good to kill the guy. So again, right? Deflection, one. Step out, hook. You see my back foot position? Okay. From here, I turn back. Now this foot ends up in this position. So when I attack the face, I change position. Always, every time I attack and do a move, one heel is always going up. Why? It helps me for the next move and the next one, the next move. Okay, from here, I have more power. I can, if I need to attack, there is more power. Okay, just like we do striking from here, we need to make sure the front, the back leg is turning. If I do a hook with the lead, so that there's more power if the whole body is turning as well. Okay? So again, deflection, one. He comes again, I deflect the side and I hook. Grab your shirt and I tap the face. Grab his face, knee, and take him down, go down with him. From here, I keep pushing his head down because I have my hand on his face, and I bring my knee on top. Okay? I grab the arm and I take the knife out. Okay? Take the knife out, turn the wrist. Stab or not, depends on the situation, and get up, and again, check my surroundings, make sure everything is clear, I can continue going. Again, from here, one, two, three, four, down, hold his head, put your knee on his head, grab the arm, bend the wrist, take the knife out, finish him, and up on your feet. Okay, now, when I take the knife back, where's the knife, man? Where's the knife? When I take the knife, okay, uh, there is few ways to hold the knife, okay? The preferred way to hold the knife after is with the blade aligned with the knuckle, okay? Come close to the camera. With the blade aligned with the knuckle. This is not the right way to hold the knife. It's the right way to cut salad, but not to be able to fight with the knife. You hold the knife, okay, you close your fist around it, tight. Okay, just like we hold the gun, you hold the gun firm, strong, same thing over here, you hold the knife the same way. Blade, align with the knuckle. Now, it doesn't make a difference if you hold the blade pointing up or the blade pointing down. Still, the blade align with the knuckle, okay? This is offensive. This is defensive, okay? This is defensive grip with the blade inside, okay? But when we do a knife fight, we want to finish the situation quick. We don't want to take time, okay? So one day when the dojo open again, okay, we're going to learn more knife against knife, okay? What we do with the advanced guy. You see that every movie you saw until now, it's all crap because all the movies you see, like they do knife fight, like they do sword fight. Each uh, fight, like five, six minutes. In reality, two, three seconds finish, okay? All you need is one good cut and done, okay? There was another style, I think, uh, I don't know, it was uh, some Filipino martial art. Basically, they wear white shirts, okay? And they have a knife, a rubber knife, and they put like a lipstick around, okay, like some kind of a paint. And uh, for 30 seconds, they fight. And at the end, what they do, who, who is the winner? They count how many cuts each one has. But I think that's stupid, because in reality, it doesn't work. If, if I cut him first over here, and he has 10 after over here, those 10 after did not happen, because this already finished him. Okay, so if you have one good one, it's done. So again, knife fight in... The military aspect is very, very quick. Takes a few seconds and finish. Not too long, okay? So again, let's do it again from the beginning. My hands over here, and it's like move back. One, two, three, grab me. Go down with him, put my, my knee on his head, on his neck, grab the arm, turn the wrist, take the knife out, stab, and disengage, okay? All right, very good. What if the guy is the lefty, okay? The guy is a lefty, and I'm, for whatever reason, I did not change my position because I didn't have time or was not paying attention or just surprised him with the knife. Okay? I step back with the lead leg now. I have no choice. Okay? I step back with the lead leg from here, and I deflect with the parallel hand. Cool. The guy is a lefty. Cool. And lefty. I come from here. And I didn't see, I was not paying attention. Attack. 
I step back to open distance with the front leg. I take my front leg back. This way I open distance and I deflect with the parallel hand. So if you attack me with the left hand, my right hand is the one I deflect with. And where am I deflecting? Anywhere over here. Okay? Anywhere over here. Okay? All right, let's do it again. From here. One. Now I deflect to the side because I know he's going to do that again because it's coming fast. I move to the side. Close, not too far. And the parallel hand is deflecting inside. And this hand comes over the top and hook. Okay, grab your shirt, grab something, and turn your whole body palm to the face. Grab his face. Now you're going to use your right knee, take him down, and put your right knee on his neck. Grab with the right, grab his arm. Let go. Make sure you don't pull. Okay, move your elbow up so you won't cut yourself on the way. So there's a knife there. You bend the wrist, take the knife out. You finish him, okay, and you open distance. Okay, again, I'm still with my left leg. Now I deflect, I move back, and I move out and hook. Hit the face, knee, take his head down, put my knee on his neck, grab. Use my other hand to take the knife out, stab him, and finish the moving back. Okay, so you can review, you can repeat this a few times, okay? You're going to continue to the next one. So if I was already understanding that actually I see the knife already on the left and I'm prepared, so my deflection is the same like I did before. So I change my stance and I put my right leg in the front. Okay? This way I deflect this way and I move out and do the whole thing just like before. Okay, then come. All right, today we're going to come, we're going to learn something new. Okay. Every attack has a return attack. Okay. Every attack, there is a return. The return is, let's say the guy did this, he's going to come back with a slash. Okay? He came from under attack, he can come back with a slash. Okay? He did a hook attack, he can come back with a slash. So all the returns are basically the same. Okay? Because there is no, it doesn't matter which angle is coming. Okay? He can come from the bottom, come from the top. All are the same because what I'm doing, I'm closing distance. This way I reach him close to his elbow, and I'm not waiting for him to do the, apply the full technique. Meaning, for example, from here, on, let's say he did this and he's coming back. Okay, I'm closing distance as much as possible. So, for whatever reason, I was hesitating. I didn't know what's coming. I got scared and I see the knife, the guy is swinging the knife at me. Swing the knife. I open distance. Why? Because I'm scared. That's a natural response to be scared, right? Again. Come again. I got scared. Now, from here, I need. When he's coming here, okay, let's say he's still going this way. I know for a fact that this is going to happen and this is going to happen. Okay? You don't have to guess it, it's going to happen. Okay? Because he's going to return back. So when he does this, this is the time when the knife passed, let's say this is a 12 o'clock line. Once the knife passes over here, it's time for me to respond, move it closer to him, not to wait until the knife starts coming back towards me again to close distance. Okay? Attack. One, I'm already moving forward. I don't want to give him the chance to continue with the movement. Okay? Have on my own. Come forward. Faster. Okay? Now, just like we did against the floor when we stop the fall, hard fall, or we stop against the wall. Okay? Some of you that did it before. Okay? We use this. Okay? Our arms close to each other. Up, straight. Not angle. If I do an angle, I'll this again. If I do an angle, he will slide and come back here, okay? I want to make sure this is like a 90 degree angle block, okay? Just like a 90 degree angle block. Both hands over here. Come on. Come on. One, two. Now, if the knife comes, doesn't matter which hand he holds the knife with, but if the knife comes on my right, I prefer to have my right leg in the front. It gives me more power to stop the, the attack, okay? His attack, to defend against the attack. If the guy is a lefty, okay? And I do the same thing from here, and I, from here, if the knife comes on my left side, I want to have my left leg in the front. Why? Does that mean? Let's say I did the opposite, and I have it here, okay? I have no support on the right side because I don't have my leg in the front. I need to create some resistance. If I keep it over here, my resistance is forward over here onto that other side, and it doesn't help me against his power, okay? 
So the guy is going to come with full power. So again, if the knife comes back on the slash on my right, I want to have my right leg in the front. Okay, so what's on? One, two. You want to cut gun? Here. Right here, okay? Elbows close to each other. I should add. Keep your hand up. Elbows close to each other this way, okay? Don't open. You open, okay? The elbow goes in between, and the knife just continues slashing your throat. Okay, you want to make sure your elbows are close to each other. Okay, almost like, like a triangle, okay, with your hand. Again, like my hand. Like. One, and stop him. Now, from here, I'm not waiting for him to take his hand back and, and look for other angles to attack me. From here, right away, I close this again. So I, I'm here, my right leg in the front. I keep moving my right leg forward again to trap the hand, okay? And it's like, almost like an arm bar on his elbow, okay? From here, one. The top is not broken. And one. This hand, big. Hold your hand on. I grab with the right because the right is in the front. And I attack him with the left because I need to have more, something to attack with. So this is the only option I have. Okay? Grab his face like before, take him down. Okay? Now this time, Shalomata. This time you pop his elbow. With the knee to the elbow, or you take the knife out, finish, and goodbye. Okay? Don't you pop Again. the elbow and like you grab him and then you look I can do that also. But let's say I didn't say it. I take it, take it down. Okay, go back. Okay, go. One, two. The right leg forward. It goes, continue moving forward. I close more distance, bring the hand to me. So I pull. And now I turn my whole body to attack. So now it's like a bow and arrow position, okay? I pull and push. I grab the face, I take the knee down and break it. Okay, break his arm, break his elbow, break and finish. All right, again, one more time. The hog touch. Okay, go. One, two, three. Grab, take down, he goes down, I pop the elbow, or I take the knife out, or I can restrain him. Depends, again, what is my intentions with him? Okay, also. All right, let's pretend he's here. Now, the knife starts here and comes back from here. And basically, all these, end, all these uh, slashes will basically go to my throat, okay? Go, wait a second. I need to give you a little introduction about the knife. Okay, okay. All the knife attacks are in an angle, okay? An angle, there's an X. Imagine there's an X. Okay, the knife attack is not, I want to show, it's not uh, like this, over and not under, okay? Not your, your shoulder is round, okay? Your joint is round, so this is gonna be natural, okay? So this is natural. Even the under attack is natural to go up this way. It's not natural to go up this way. You don't go from the bottom from this groin and go all the way to the throat, okay? It's not uh, shish kebab. And shish kebab. So from here, one. So when I try to, uh, stab him in the spleen or his uh, liver, okay, it depends on the, which hand. I continue the motion, he said, I continue the motion. Now when I come back, I can come back to the throat. So it's the same, again, same direction, same movement with the knife. Wait, so the original I start over here, I try to stab you over here. But let's say you move back, I come back to the throat, okay? Now, it could be the same thing where the guy goes over the top, trying with a sash. And from here, he comes back again with an X. This is, imagine there's an X again, we said. He goes over here and he comes back. But if you hold the knife like this, he will come back with a stab, okay? The slash usually is not uh, common to come from the bottom up this way, okay? So, so one, two. Even if it is a hook attack, he is still gonna come back to the throat, okay? So all the return slashes usually go over here. Nobody has the intention to cut you over here. He doesn't want to cut your nipple. Okay, you want to go to your throat. Okay, sure. So again, let's say we got stabbed. We, we mean the guy is attacking. We had to take an open distance. And now we close distance. We grab the hand as we step in. Okay, as we step in and attack the face. So this, this, and this at the same time, one, Okay, grab his face, take it down, drop him, grab his arm, break his elbow with the knee, or take the knife or break his elbow. If the elbow is broken, there is no knife already, okay? 
see the aura. Again, you hesitate, you move back. Now you know for a fact it's coming back, so you close distance because the knife is coming from here. You turn your body towards the knife. Okay, you grab, you step forward, and attack the face. Grab the face, take him down. You grab the arm, you break his elbow, kick him in the head, say goodbye, deal with his friend. Again, the knife is coming from your one, two, three. Down, you hold the hand, he's already down. You grab, you break his elbow, or you take the knife. Now, to take the knife, you do the same thing we did before, if you don't want to break his elbow. After you took him down, you put your knee on his neck. This way you pin to the ground so you won't escape. Okay, and then you grab the arm, take the knife away, and finish. Okay, not always you want to break the elbow. Okay, it could be your cousin got a little drunk in the in the wedding. So we're going to be weddings again. You don't want to break your cousin's elbow. You want to take the knife out. People get drunk and they go crazy. Yeah. So again, from here, I open distance. I go towards the arm. I grab and I attack the face as I move in. Grab the face, knee, take him down. Grab the arm, break his elbow, push away, and open distance. Huh? To bring it down. To bring down. Again, open, close, grab and hit, moving forward. Knee, take down, grab the arm, break the elbow, and open distance. Very good. Now, oh, one second. When the slash happens, there could be many different other ways that you can take him down or finish. Depends on his response. Okay. If I start to do the slash in place, let's say after let's say after I did this, when I hit him, it did not go back because when I hit him, if I hit, it goes back. Right. Let's say when I hit him, he went forward. Okay. He went forward. I'm not going to grab him and pull him back. I'm going to go with him. So right now from here, my arm slides to his elbow and I pull him down to the ground and restrain him on the floor this way. Okay? Again. One. Let's say I hit the, the front and he went forward. So from here, I put my arm. Do you want the shoulder also to hurt you? No. So behave. This arm on the elbow and I use fulcrum. Fulcrum, okay, from here, and I step away, let him go down, and I restrain, you want to break your shoulder? Move the other hand out, move your hand out, move it out, come on, come on, it's going to break, it's going to break, it's going to break, because he can get out, okay, and I take the knife out, cool, if I tell you you can do it, you can do it. So you moved me. Yeah. So again. So this is option number two when he leans forward. What happens if I try to put pressure on the elbow to apply the fulcrum, but he bends his elbow? This way I cannot bring it down. So what do we do? Come on. Come on. One. Let's say I hit him and he went forward. And I try to bring his elbow down, but now he's resisting by bending his elbow. From here, I, I apply what's called the figure four. What I said? The figure four, basically, it's this. Okay, he bends his elbow, that means he brings his hand to himself. From here, one, I can slash it. No fingerprint on the knife, he cut himself. They commit suicide, not me. Okay, again, toxic Kazakh. One, two, I try to bring him down, he bends his elbow, I apply the figure four. You see there is a number four over here? The old ways of writing four, don't move, don't move. This. This and this, okay? Trigger four. So when I bring it back from here, I just take him down to the ground, okay? And I break his elbow or put pressure on his wrist. So this is called the figure four. What happened? What happened? Because let's say there is, he has a counter and I try to go up and he's resisting again. So what time? Hold on. Let's see, resist. Why? I do this, he leans forward, so I try to take his elbow. And he bends his elbow. So now when I bring it up, he resists. He's trying to pull down. So I help him kill himself. I bring it down to, to finish him. Now I continue going back again and finish. Okay? 
It's okay. You kill it twice. Let's go. All right. So this is different options that you have and different scenarios that might happen. Let's go. Let's do some guns. Come. You did yourself. I didn't, feel, I didn't touch a knife. All right. Guns a little bit. By the way, anybody has any question about the slash different scenarios? Ask now or forever remain silent, somebody. Okay, Hala. No questions, we continue. Anybody has any special request about the gun? Ask me now if you want to know any situation. Yes, a gun to the side, like like right above your hip area. Like your like this? right handed gun to your yeah, something like that. Like this, like a robbery. You the yep. ATM is right there. Okay. Usually we call it the ATM style. Okay. You'll take money and the guy come from here, it can be from this side, it could be with the other hand over here, it could be with this hand on the back, it could be from behind completely, and it could be from here, other side, both hands. With the hand with the with the gun either behind the arm or in front of the arm. Okay, usually take one hand the ATM. So let's say I have was too close. Hey, give me your money, and then I come from here. Oh, hey, give me your money, and come from here. Okay, so this is the few options we have. Let's do this. Okay, come from the right side. Use your right hand. Now, let's say, let's say the the gun is behind my arm. Okay, Oh, then you just move it up. Okay, then the gun is behind my arm. Okay, so it's similar to. A, knife, a gun threat from behind. I, from here, I move out, boom, in the elbow to the face, or pounce to the face, near the groin, break, and take it with the before. Okay? Welcome. Let's do, let's cover this. Okay? Bomb attack. I'm not Okay? Put behind my arm. Okay? So I was busy taking money. Okay? From here, I clear. First thing to do is clear. Move out. I'll take Magarina. The Magarina. How's that? Okay. Why? And moving in. Why moving in? Because he pulls back. Okay, what's at the ball? So I want to prevent that pull back. So from here, boom, I'm moving inside. So when we can, so they can see from the, okay. So from here, I'm closing distance so I can be away, uh, safe from the pull back. And uh, when you pull back, you pull the trigger as well. I want to, don't want to get shot. Okay. That's it. So from here, it's one. Uh -huh. If I want to do that, you will be dead already. Huh? Okay. One. What's going to say? I didn't show. I didn't show. Okay. One. Don't pull. You pull your hand back. Don't pull your hand back right now. Don't pull your hand back. Okay. One. Don't pull. Okay. And moving in with the elbow. Okay. Name to the groin, grab the gun over the top, bend by breaking his finger, pull out, hit him anywhere in the back. On top is better, not on the head. Okay, on top, the back and open distance and operate the gun. What if the gun is in the front? That means that my hand, my hand was from behind as I was trying to pull my money or the wallet or something under the, uh, the ATM card. So now my hand, my arm is, I'm not doing this. Oh, no, please don't do this. Okay? Too much, too obvious. So from here, I clear. Okay? I'm using this hand to clear. And I clear by moving towards him. Okay? Clear moving towards him and I control the gun. Break his finger, break his hand. Move back, disengage. What's the ball? What's the ball? Again, let's do it slow. From here, I move in. Okay? I'm moving and I try to control the gun either from the top or from the bottom. It depends on the situation that I feel comfortable. I'm sure we go together. Okay, so from here, one. And I'm closing distance, I'm going almost like behind him. Okay, so if he pulls, nobody pulls behind himself. Nobody does this. He will do it here. So he will pull over here. That's, he feel uh, uh, safe over here. Okay, when people pull themselves, they feel safe. People don't pull back. Okay. So one, clear, and close distance, and this hand reach for the gun. You grab the barrel, grab the slide, okay? From here, you, you turn the whole body, move back a little bit, so you watch my foot 
my footwork as well. I'm not just turning this, I'm turning the whole body, okay? Remember the, the attacks with the backside? Same exact thing. I wanna make sure I break the thumb, okay? Over here, the thumb will break. Okay, into him, maybe now I attack him in the chest and disengage, open this thing. Okay, again. For here, please. My money is here. One. Okay, I control. I have to grab my shirt. Maybe now I need to struggle. I need to fight him. Maybe there could be different situation. But at least the gun is not aimed towards me. The gun is always aimed to the side and down. Okay, try to aim it down. Because if you have friends over there, you don't want to get shot. Okay, you aim it down. From here now, I turn to him. Turn to him and use my whole body for leverage. From here, I take the hand, the gun out, I hit him with the barrel a few times, I step back, I rock, and I'm ready to shoot. Okay? Again, let's do one more time. Hold on the gun. No? From here, please, on one. Maybe fight, maybe fight, maybe do something, maybe struggle, and break the thumb, okay? Hit him in the chest. Or, don't move. Straight. From here, you can put it on the connection between the shoulder and the collarbone, okay? From here and press down. You press down with the metal, it causes a lot of pain, plus it's like a soft point area, and it's very, very painful. This is something that I took from Gabi. He put pressure over here. Don't move. No. Take that to scrub. He put pressure over here, okay? I'll show you the other side, right here. Okay? This. The guy goes down, it already feels not comfortable. But it's metal, so it's like a hammer. Somebody hit you with a hammer, you break for sure, okay? So again, on the front, you know, one, close distance, move in, break, hit, and open the distance back, and ready to shoot. Okay? All right, guys. Okay, now, hold on. All right, next time, hopefully, we're going to have more people. Today, the four of you plus me and Daniel, so not too many people, but uh, tell your friends, by the way, guys. It's not just for the people that trained with us before. The people that uh, want to come from the outside, and it's open for everybody, okay? Even if they cannot afford it, they should uh, join. Hi, right, guys. At the front. Kida. All right. Kida. I'm gonna, I, I did not upload the previous class. I'm going to upload this, both of them today. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be on YouTube tonight. All right, guys. See you next Monday. Hug Samaya. Hug Samaya. Happy Shavuot. Uh, uh, Don't eat yeah. too much cheesecake. Then you're going to become like me again. Fat. No cheesecake. I'm going to eat all the cheesecake myself. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.